So around this time of year, our advice center gets no end of messages about accommodation, housing. And to be honest with you, if there's one thing you take away from this video, it needs to be this. Accommodation in Ormskirk does not run out before Christmas. Overall, it's about 1,500 accommodations all over Ormskirk and still 1,100 are there after Christmas. So, if you've been pressured into signing the contract or being pushed into a house, just sit back, take a deep breath, and remember this. It's not gonna happen. You're gonna find somewhere to live. So, if you wanna take the advice from the issue, don't let yet. So it goes out saying that there's no pressure or rush to sign a contract early. I mean, in the grandest scale of things, you need to like where you live in. It's pretty obvious. You need to like the people you're living with. You'd be surprised how many people don't and just rush into something. And you need to be comfortable where you're living. So it's no good living two hours away and you don't drive or anything like that. You need to be practical about where you are living. So choosing a property can be difficult at the best of times, never mind with everything that's going on at the minute. So here's a list of things that you might want to just bear in mind when you are signing for a property. So most importantly, um, it would be the length of the contract. So it could be anywhere from a full calendar year to 40 weeks, which would be term length, and anywhere in between really. And that is something that you might want to consider when you are signing. One of the questions that you're gonna to need to ask yourself is what kind of deposit protection scheme are you gonna be using? So, are you paying a, a sum of retainer? How much is that when you get that back? Do you get that back? A deposit, so a damage deposit. How much is that when you get that back? And have that kind of conversation with the landlord before you say and sign anything. These are the, probably the most important thing from personal experience that you need to bear in mind. It's pretty obvious and it goes without saying, but the location of your house is very important. It could be anywhere, really, and you need to go and see the house, which goes into my next point. Last but not least in this list of advice, and I cannot stress this enough, always view the house. It could look like a completely different place online to actually when you get there. So if you don't want holes missing out of your bedroom wall and God knows what else in the room, please view the house. No matter how much you've planned and how much time has gone into securing this house with your friends and such, there's always room for error and I think that's fairly obvious and fairly self-explanatory. So it's always important to know that the SU and the advice team will always be there for you, regardless of whatever. If you need more information, all you have to do is visit edgehillsu.org.uk slash donut yet where you'll find our links to the advice centre, the university accommodation team and other helpful resources.